Now, last time we found a way to get access to another user called Atlas, which is in this weird group Jailer, which I think will have something to do with our fire jail that we've been stuck in in the beginning. So in this episode, we're trying to abuse this new relationship with this group to become root. So let's just dig in. And um, yeah, fantastic. What does this mean for us? First of all, uh, so um, before I wasn't able to run fire jail, maybe now I can not found. Wait, where is the fire jail? Uh -huh. No, come on. Now I have to set up the shell again. I hope it works out this time again. Why did it exit me? out of the fire jail. Now, okay, um, but what, what we learned with this mistake, um, every mistake is a lesson that you get along your way to success. And um, what we learned from this mistake is that we can access fire jail. Now, I need some help on the fire jail command. Maybe I can run a fire jail help or something like that once we are back at it which should be in about a minute or so we will just have to wait. Okay, fantastic. Now, first of all, we are going to set ourselves a backdoor. So let's go in uh, to our, let's, well, let's go into our home and I don't have a key pair, so let's generate one. How do I do that? Create SSH key pair. Let's just create it according to this one. Boom. And now we need to deploy it on the server. And for that, we just put the contents from the public one in the authorized keys file. Right. Perfect. Okay. We're essentially creating our own backdoor. Fantastic. So this is my public key. If you want, go ahead and install it on your machine. So I can access your machine as well. Auto reset keys. Okay, now let's try if we can connect as Atlas SSHB, right? Let me see if we added it correctly. And now this looks much more like it's my public key. Maybe we can now use it to access it. Perfect. Now we have our backdoor. We can use our backdoor. And I have said back just so many times that YouTube is gonna demonetize this video. Fantastic. Now, the next thing we wanna do is actually find out this fire jail help. Is it wrong? What's it called? Isn't it fire jail? Oh, I wrote fire fail. Now, one thing we want to find out, uh, and uh, this is just a hunch. I'm not sure that's even the right direction we're going in, but just based on my assumption that we are the jailer, and uh, we have fire jail and I've never heard of these things before. And this is a CTF environment. It tells me my, my CTF sensors are tingling. It's telling me that we have to do something with this fire jail because now we have the permissions for it. I'm looking for something like version. Yeah, version. Perfect. Now fire jail version. All right. Now we take this version, we go to Google, say fire jail exploit or something like that. And then have, we have what? Uh, oh, 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 wait, 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 local root exploit. That's exactly what we're looking for. Nice. Okay. So we have like a, what is this proof of concept, local root exploit for vulnerability in fire jail. The exploit tricks the fire jail set UID root program to join a fake fire jail instance by using campus mount and sim links in the unprivileged username space of the fake fire jail instance. The results will be a shell that lives in an attack controlled mount namespace while the username space is still the initial username space and the no new brief setting is onset allowing to escalate privileges via su or sudo. I didn't understand this. All right. You know what? Let's just copy this like a professional. Let's go in here. Vim. Let's call it fire fail dot pi ch mount plus x fire fail pi. Let's run fire fail pi. Okay. You can now run fire jail blah 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 in another terminal, which we could use this one, but actually uh, let's just use our nice SSH backdoor again. And what was it called? Uh, SSA.htb. Let's run this one. All right. And then it said something in the terms of you can then privilege escalate with SU or sudo. That's fascinating. So uh, I, from what I've 
got an essential we create a fake fire jail mount everything into it and then give us more permissions than we actually had before something like that i'm not entirely sure i hope they patched it because this means that oh wonder oh wonder let's take a look at what we have in here we have the root flag let's get the root flag and then we can get this one we have packed box in here and then let's go to the submit root flag boom perfect now what do we rate this as i mean it wasn't it was pretty straightforward most of the time but uh, it's kind of tricky i think i broke my firefox hello yeah it's broken oh no my firefox is broken i hacked the system so hard that i've now officially broken it all right okay now i wish it's a good time to like uh, do an outro so i hope you enjoyed this challenge called sandworm now i will create a poll in the community tab again where you can vote on which challenge we should do next and also don't forget to suggest try hack me challenges or paths that i should take a look at in this live streams together with you let me know in the community tab let me know in the comments let me know in the chat and we will do some try hacking challenges next week.